So we are Company H and my name is Fong Ta and it's Raphael, Raphael and it's Karina and we're gonna today we're gonna represent Coca-Cola Bottling Consolidated. Uh, so the history of Coca-Cola Bottling Consolidated I was founded back in 1902 in North um, Charlotte, North Carolina by entrepreneur J.B. Harrison. Um, before the CCBC company was um, established, people had to um, go all the way to a local drugstore, to a soda fountain, where they could get a nice Coca-Cola refreshment. But after um, the CCBC was um, established, uh, people were now able to access the drink even faster and better because people were, the workers at the CCB company would wash the unused Coca-Cola bottles and they would hand uh, fill, fill, refill them by hand and put them on horse-drawn carriages to distribute them to the public. In 1972, the company went from the name Charlotte Coca-Cola Bottling Company to Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated. And by 1991, the Coca-Cola Consolidated uh, became one of the largest Coca-Cola bottlers in the United States, as well as a Fortune 500 company. But currently, the, C the CEO of CCB is, is the founder's J.B. Harrison's great-grandson, uh, J. Frank Harrison. Uh, so CCBC is now available across 14 states and distributes more than 300 brands and flavors owned by the Coca-Cola company. So for the discussion of strategy, um, there's two strategies that they use. There are bro broad, low-cost provider. So they target <coughs> anybody who's anybody of any age, any income, anything like that. Um, so just anybody in general who enjoys drinking Coca-Cola or drinking any type of product that they offer, uh, they provide people with affordable products, um, like Coca-Cola bottle is under $2 or, um, you know, other like a Sprite is under $2 and stuff like that. Um, they are a differentiator as well. And this is because the Coca-Cola bottle is so unique by the way that it's shaped. It has a, a contour shape that makes the bottle easily recognizable to the public. So if one were to see, you know, a, a Coca-Cola bottle without a label, they would probably know it, it's Coca-Cola right off the bat. Um, also, they carry a variety of other brands, you know, like Sprite, um, they carry a Monster, uh, Minute Maid, um, all those other, other brands that's good variety and selection for customers. So the intensity of rivalry is high, and this is uh, because there are other competing companies like Pepsi, Nestle, that offer the same you know, variety of beverages that they do. So due to these big um, companies that are also competing against them, um, there are also, Coca-Cola Consolidated is always trying to keep up with them, trying to you know, go up against them. Yeah, and the bargaining power of buyers is moderate because um a company like McDonald's can easily turn to Pepsi if they have any conflict with um, Coca-Cola, CBC. Um, it's highly unlikely because the high demand of the product um, is people love their Coca-Cola when they go to McDonald's and stuff like that. Um, but I like, go you know, retail store like Walmart, if a merger and Walmart have a conflict, they can easily turn to Pepsi um, and have their bill of displays and stuff like that. As for the bargaining power of supplier, it is low. Considering that CCBC is so huge, it's highly unlikely that a supplier is going to have power over them. They can easily turn to someone else to get their resources and stuff like that. And threat of new entry is moderate because as CCBC will represent the Coca-Cola brand, so a lot of consumers already know this product uh, where they prefer to have this bottle drink more than other drink. So it's not that easy for the new business to beat the CCBC where they have that, that way they can have to represent, uh, require more time and resources for the new business. Threat of new substitutes is high and this is because um, even though there are very loyal um, Coca-Cola uh, drink, drinkers, um, it's very easily able to be substituted by Pepsi um, or if you don't drink soda at all, you can replace it by you know a bottle of water or maybe some juice. Um, so people don't feel the need to buy Coca-Cola because there's other options there on the market. And the driving forces. The first one we're going to talk about is brand loyalty. So Coke and Pepsi have been battling each other for years. Their um, consumers are remain loyal to them. 94% of households stuck with Coke products and 9% stuck with Pepsi. After the dry diet drinks, 92.5% stuck with Coca-Cola and 90% stuck with Pepsi. So they're going back and forth competing with each other. Um, for the health concerns, as we all know, 
Soft drinks are not good for you at all. They can cause obesity, tooth decay, um, heart problems, um, all kinds of bad stuff. So this is something that CCBC has been aware of. They're turning, they're making more healthy products with their um, wellness drinks and stuff like that. Consumer trends, so more people are turning to the flavor water and seltzer drinks. So a study showed that, um, a survey showed that um, the seltzers had 2.3 billion in gross sales in 2018, and flavor water had 3 billion in gross sales in 2018 in retail stores. And the beverage, the wellness and health drinks um, take up 42% of the beverage industry. For environmental trends, um, consumers are being more aware of the environment and stuff that is causing, so recycling the bottles, stuff like that. Um, they surveys show that one third of consumers would tend to spend more money on environmental friendly products that can help the environment out in any way. So keys to safe factors. The first one is they have so many different options you can choose from. Like Karina was talking about, they have um, Sprite, Fanta, you can have High C, Monster, Powerade, stuff like that. They have all types of different kinds of drinks other than just soft drinks. They also have a strong heritage. So CCBC been around for years. Um, people have known them. Their bottles are highly recognizable as we heard earlier. Um, in 2010, they were named the biggest bottling company in the world. So they have just built a strong um, company um, heritage. After that, they also have a strong company image. So they um, they're have a slogan on their website, it's called, all purpose to honor God and all we do, to serve others, to pursue excellence. excellence. So they focus on building a better community. They do a lot of volunteer work with their employees and stuff like that. They try to give back in the community any way they can. As for the word, um, they have many different options in retail. So you can go to a Walmart or a gas station or any kind of convenience store, you can find a Coke product there. Same with fast food, they're in a lot of fast food restaurants. So they're in a McDonald's, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, one of the top three biggest fast food chains in the world. So they're doing a lot there with the fast food and uh, retail industry. So for the SWOT analysis of CCPC, I'm going to talk a couple of them. What's the strength is they have a firm brand name and we know CCPC is representing the Coca-Cola and the Coca-Cola is already in the heart of the consumer where a lot of people they know their products and it's easy for them to organize the bottle. And also the long market share at Coca-Cola brand is uh, contributed to another company with 500 brands. So it's easy for the CCC, CCBC uh, to uh, represent the bottle where they already have location that are spread to the southeast, midwest, and mid Atlantis portion of the United States. So it's good advantage for them. The weakness is that the insignificant amount of revenue turn to the brand failures because they carry a lot of branches. So with that, it's not that easy for them to concentrate to one bottle and they have to um, for the design in the bottle too. And also the environmentalism and pollution because CCPC is for doing 110 billion plastic bottle and the environment is concerned of this where these they say a lot of bottle is uh, see in the ocean more than the fish. An opportunity is a global expansion. If CCPC can expand their business to the north and the west more, this can help them to expand their business more uh, over to the world and also the consumer can know them and also increase their revenues. As mentioned about the weaknesses of the environmentalists, we think the opportunity for CCPC is our innovate new model bottle. Uh, and we know that CCPC have cared much about the flame bottle of eliminating the carbon dioxide and the pet. But we think that this company can provide more the environment to uh, innovate this model to be more creative. And the threat for the CCPC is increased competitor. Even though in the port of five forces, we say the threat of new entry is moderate, but as we know, business is running, everybody and the consumer can change their taste and the different on the bottle. So they need also to watch out for the competitors. And also the low employee morale. As researching on this case, uh, I have seen that they 
they don't have a good um, employee morale where the review on the glass door side is very low um, and a lot of people they lease the company where they have experience about like three to or five years so the financials so um, they had pretty decent financials um, the growth profit margin they did have some decrease in the GPM and OPM um, they dropped 7% from 2014 to 2018 they dropped um, about three and a half percent from off profit margin for 2014 to 2018. So the net profit margin, the ROA and ROE was some kind of concerning. In 2018, as you can see, they had a negative with 0.43 NPM, 0.65 in ROA, and 4.41, which was a 20 decrease from 2017 to 2018. So we couldn't really find anything why they had these um, holes in their financials. It could have been many things. They could have acquired something or just a couple bad investments here and there. But with how big CCBC is and how long they've been, it won't be hard for them to get out of this hole. Um, they'll probably get out of it within the next year or so. And for the strategic concern is the lack of company knowledge to consumer. Not a lot of people know the differences between Coca-Cola and the CCBC is. So they was not advertised well of how this is contributed to the consumer and, the, and their manufacturers. The second one of strategic concern is the threat of new entrants. Uh, we know business when a new business coming, it's easy for consumer to change their taste and the bottle with a design. So that is also their concern. And the third one is a limit location. And they're looking for the threat of competitor. They need to understand the location. If they can expand to the northwest and the and the north and the west. Um, area in the United States, it can help them to bring more attention to the consumer and it's also prevent to the threat of new entry and the threat of substitute. The fourth one is a lot of environmental awareness. As I mentioned on those uh, witnesses on the SWOT analysis, where they was in the graph attention in the environment with on the website of the Green Tea, they think the Co-consolidates is bring to the troll environment to uh, the the ocean, and also the last one is the high employee turnover rate. And I researches on the glass door side where you can see they have a more calm review more than anything else, and also not to mention is the Davis K in two thousand eight where they where the company did not provide well enough the structure and the culture of the company well to them. Um, so the first recommendation um, is expanding out to new places. So uh, CCBC is only available um, in the Southeast states, the Midwest, and also in the Mid-Atlantic. Mid um, so they should definitely try to spread out to um, the West and the Southwest just so they can be able to transport their products easier. Um, this way they can also form more relationships with other companies. Um, also, this can uh, help reduce the threat of new entrants who um, will be coming into the market soon because it will be available in more places, so um, it'll help them achieve a better competitive advantage if they're available in other places um, that they're not. Um, also, so CCBC should first start by placing either two manufacturing facilities um, in states like California or Texas. That way they can you know, easily transport their products um, to the areas that are surrounding those states. So the um, second recommendation is to have a more enjoyable work environment. As we heard from um, Fong, they have a high turnover rate. People, the morale though is really low. So for a company like CCBC, who's huge on company image and giving back, helping the community, they have not focused on their employees. Um, as you know, high turnover is costly for a company. You gotta go through the orientations, the trainings, the background checks, everything. So if, um, a couple of recommendations we have for them is um, use quarterly evaluations on the supervisors and the employees. So this helps out, um, gives comfort to the employees to give reviews on the supervisor or other coworkers that are helping their morale decrease. So the second one would be have events sit around other workers. So CCBC is huge on Christianity. Um, they want to they express their belief in God a lot. So this makes may made make other employees comfortable uncomfortable. So they should focus on 
having more events centered around those religions. So maybe have an event for Ramadan or um, Hanukkah, something small, so their workers don't feel left out or uncomfortable. And also team building events. So team building events helps creativity and helps communication a lot. Like the like the escape game, having an event like that would help um, um, workers at CCBC work together and just have a more enjoyable time with each other. And the wrap, last recommendation is to use social media to spread more awareness of the company. I mentioned about the beginning that not a lot of people know the differences of Coca-Cola and the CCBC is. So they can use the social media to spread out their differences, uh, which is how the to people understand the difference between the Coke Consolidated and Coca-Cola company. Um, and also, in this way, is help them to understand more the different location. Because as we know, the Coca-Cola brand is only in the Georgia Atlanta at the brand name. And a lot of people think that that one is the one that's distributing and, and do everything from the shipment and create a bottle. So if they can use the social media from the Facebook and Twitter, uh, it's help them to explain to the consumer and also uh, to different ages, they can know more about the branches. Uh, as mentioned about the environment, uh, they can also create more about the informative video and do it yourself of how to recycle this bottle, um, which is help them um, with the recycle impact of the that. Uh, if they can hold a contest of how to re recycle the most cold bottle, which is how encourage the consumer into the greenhouse party. Uh, if they can use the hashtag of my CCBC bottle. Uh, if they win, they can get a free sit night Disney crew that they can enjoy with their family and friends. So yeah, it would be like a week long um competition so they would use a hashtag and we're just they would keep track on the records and stuff what accounts use the bottom stuff like that and that concludes our presentation <laughs>